Hello students, I'm Teacher Berlin and welcome to our math class lesson 3. Our lesson for today is about word problems involving sets. Venn diagram A Venn diagram is an illustration that uses circles to show the relationships among things. It helps to visually represent the similarities and differences between two concepts. To do the Venn diagram, we are going to draw circles. A circle and another circle overlapping the one circle. The one in the middle shows the similarities of the two things or finite objects. And the remaining spaces show the differences of the two objects. This is how to draw a Venn diagram. You can also use three circles to show the similarities and differences of three things. Now let's have an example. 30 students in a class were asked about their favorite recess snack. It was found out that 15 students like burger, 8 like spaghetti, and 5 students prefer both snacks. Now let us first draw a rectangle. Oops, sorry, I think I drew it. Okay, I think it's fine. I have a hanging board here so I cannot draw and write properly, so bear with me. Okay. Now, inside the rectangle, we are going to draw the two circles. The one circle overlapping the other one. This circle here represents the burger. And the other one represents the spaghetti. Since this one in the middle represents the intersection of the two, and there are five students who prefer both burger and spag, so we are going to write five in the middle. Five like both burger and spag. There are 15 students who like burger and we already have five here. We will just subtract 15 minus 5 and we will write 10 here. We still have a total of 15 students who like burger. On the other hand, we write 3 since there are 8 students who like spaghetti. We just subtracted 8 minus 5 since we already have 5 in the middle. As you can see, we have a total of 18, but in the given, we have as 30 students meaning the remaining 12 are the students who do not like either of the two snacks. So we will write the remaining 12 outside of the circles. Now let us have another example. We will answer questions based on this Venn diagram. Based on the diagram, there are only 11 students who like basketball only. For number 2, how many students like volleyball only? There are 12 students who like volleyball only. How many students who do not like basketball? Since these are the students who like basketball, therefore, the number of students who do not like basketball are the numbers outside this circle. There are 21 students who do not like basketball. Number 4. How many students who do not like volleyball? The number of students who do not like volleyball are the numbers outside its circle. There are 20 students who do not like volleyball. Number 5. How many students like basketball or volleyball? In our previous lesson, let's not be confused with union and intersection. When we say OR, it means we will get the union of the sets. And when we say end, it means we will get the intersection of sets. 
Now how many students like basketball or volleyball? It means we are going to get the union of sets. There are 31 students who like basketball or volleyball. Number 6. How many students like basketball and volleyball? We are going to get the intersection of the set. There are 8 students who like basketball and volleyball. For number 7, how many students who do not like both basketball or volleyball? Since these are the students who like basketball or volleyball, then we will look for the number outside these circles. There are 9 students who do not like both basketball or volleyball. Now let's have an example of a Venn diagram with 3 circles. 80 students were interviewed. 21 took geometry, 25 took algebra, 30 took calculus, 11 took geometry and algebra, 10 took algebra and calculus, 9 took calculus and geometry, and 3 took all 3 subjects. Of course, let us first draw the rectangle. And the three circles. Then the next one to do is we will name the circles Algebra, this one is Calculus. And this one is geometry. This one in the middle is the intersection of the three subjects. This one here is the intersection of algebra and calculus. This one is the intersection of geometry and algebra. And this one here is the intersection of geometry and calculus. For us not to get confused, we will start at the intersection of the three subjects. Now we will write here three, since there are three students who took all the three subjects. There are 9 students who took Calculus and Geometry. Since we already have 3 there, so let us just add 6 here to make it 9. There are 10 students who took Algebra and Calculus. Again, there is already 3, so we will just add 7 here to make it 10 because there are 10 students who took these subjects. There are 11 students who took Geometry and Algebra. So we will just add 8 here to make it 11 since there is already 3 there. 8 plus 3 is 11. Now, let us fill in the remaining spaces. For geometry, there are 21 students who took this subject. So, we will just add 4 here to make it 21. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 21. For calculus, there are 30 students who took this subject, so we will just add 14 here to make it 30. 7 plus 3 plus 6 plus 14 is equal to 30. The same process for the algebra, since there are 25 students who took this one, so we will just add 7 to make it 25. We interviewed 80 students and the total of this one is equal to 
49. So let's subtract this one equals 31. Therefore, there are 31 students who did not take any of the subjects.